Welcome to part two. Today we will be building the Nixie Tube Clocks. So all of us in some way need to remove material from our antiques so that we can either have the Nixie Tubes exposed and or enclose the PCB. So I originally went about trying to make a template just from using my calipers to measure where the Nixie Tubes were at, how long the PCB was. But the problem with this is that all of these Nixie tubes are on these uh, female risers, which cause them to shift. So it's almost impossible to get the dimensions. So I contacted the company who sent us the Nixie tube clocks, and they were kind enough to send me out a schematic so that I could convert that into an SVG, so that I could then CNC route the holes and the inlay. So I keep my CNC router in this nifty little box in my room, so that it keeps out the dust. So I've had a couple of goes at this, and I finally got a template which I think will work. Uh, let's keep our fingers crossed. It's perfect. When I was shopping, my biggest concern was this indent. Initially, I thought with that white piece of paper that I was carrying around that I could fit my Nixie tubes behind the indent and life would be good. But I forgot two things. One, I.O. There's nowhere to be able to access the I.O. because we have this metal plate here. And the other thing is, ugh, I cannot believe I did this. The Nixie tube clock is facing this direction. And the front of the level is definitely this side. And I really do want this metal piece to be in the front. So in fact, the Nixie tube clock has to go like this. We saw both the I.O. and the facing issue. So with this divot right here, there's absolutely no way around it. My Nixie tubes are going to be straddling this indent. So right now the level's too long and it's going to take away from the Nixie tube clock. So I'm going to cut that, I'm going to cross from the sides, and it's going to be left center to add character. And yes, I am using my miter saw in the kitchen. As you can probably tell, the end grain is a different color from the finish. So to remedy this, I'm going to add these little supports. It's also going to make it look a little bit more intricate too. So we'll just take one of the pieces that we cut off, glue and clamp on both sides, and it's going to look awesome. All right, so this is the cigar mold that I found at the first antique store. And just since it's so thick compared to the height of the Nixie tubes, I'm only gonna work with half to keep things more proportional. So the main thing that I like about the cigar mold is the molds themselves with these arches. And I'm gonna make that the key feature of my designs. However, I have two options, or two ideas for my designs. One would be preserving the current state of the cigar mold, and that would complement the age of the Nixie tubes. Another method would be making a more modern design where I could cut down on the amount of wood used with making cleaner lines and then give it, paint it a nice color um, to get rid of this older looking wood. Um, and since this is so long, I could just cut it right in half and I can approach both of these designs. All right, so I've hired someone to cut this for me. So we're gonna cut it just right in the middle, um, 10 cigar molds in. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Perfect. All right. So I only have one pair of ears and I don't want my hands to cover my ears, so you have to use your hands. All right, thank you. <laughs> All right, awesome. Perfectly in the middle. Cool. All right, so now we have this trimmed down version of the cigar molds, and then I just want to widen these arches because I'm going to have the Nixie tubes coming up through the top. So just to widen the arches on the bottom here, we're going to cut some off of here and some off of here. All right, so you want to see what it looks like when we cut them off? Now we have these really nice, even arches throughout. And then it's a little burned here, but I can just paint it over it. Paint over it. Sorry. Shit, it's stuck in my finger. Are you recording? <laughs> <laughs> no, 
until you're actually recording, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I got the box with me here from the second store, and I also picked up some wood and some springs. So this Nixie 2 clock is actually gonna go in the wood, and then I'll be able to put this board on top of about four or five springs. And that way, when I give this to my parents, they'll actually be able to push the board down and then close the box. So it makes for a really useful uh, setup. Is that okay? Yep. Check if you'll plug it in. Can't get it out. All right, all right. Hmm. Should sure. I? Can you start it? <laughs> okay, so it's just slightly too long. <sighs> so I guess we'll cut a little more. There we go. Perfect, perfect. Nice. All right, so we only have one chance at this. Um, I have not cut a template this thick before, so hopefully everything's in order. Worst comes to worst, I'll stop the carve and correct it, but we should know within um, a couple minutes of my XY it's correct. Ah. Since this is going right in the middle of the box, uh, we're just gonna cut holes right in the middle, and that's it. All right, so after we cut down on the amount of wood, I just love seeing these exposed arches, so I think I'm just gonna pursue this design, and fingers crossed, it works. So, hit it, D-Flow. It's all done. Let's look at the damage. I already know it broke through a little bit on the other side, which I'm not happy about, but we shall see. Oh, actually, it really didn't. Almost impossible to tell. Wow, that turned out awesome. After a couple of scary minutes of not having all the Nixie tubes line up, I was able to finally get it to all snap in place, and I'm super excited. This is exactly what I was envisioning. Something old, but very classy. All right, it's finished. Let's check it out. Wow, it looks so good. All right, now that the holes are carved into it, I'm gonna paint it um, and I'm gonna start off with a primer. So update on last time. Uh, after I drilled holes in the box, when I put the springs in, they actually weren't very level, so it's not gonna work out. So instead, we're doing plan B, this two-part epoxy. We're just gonna put some in, it's gonna stick, and then hopefully everything will work out that time. 
And then also I've stained the, uh, the board that the Nixie YouTube clock will go into. And as you can see, it fits right in. This is gonna go right here. And I think it's uh, gonna look pretty good. Hopefully, if not. In the next and final video, yeah. the team finishes their clocks. They call me, call me Dr. D Flow. I tell you I'm the best. Come check out my YouTube channel. I swear you'll be impressed. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Dr. D got a nice flow. I be shining like a light show. Now, what's the topic for tonight, though? Uh.